And then what? Marry me, you silly girl. Marry me. You make it sound so simple, but it's not. It's simple. Look, people will talk. Okay, I'm... I don't care what people will say. Either way, people are already saying stuff. Okay, so just marry me and then we go somewhere else. But why can't we just remain the way we are? What's wrong with this? Because I'm, I'm sick and tired of us running from one hotel room to another. If you... Please... Are you really serious about this? Like a heart attack. I don't know, Phil. I'm not just... I'm me. Tired. I'm just... Your prayers, God, I don't know. But Mama, I did not plan this. I want to marry Evie. That is all. Lie. This is a lie of the devil. Devil, you are a liar and the father of all lies. Liar! Mama, hey! you can say what you want to say. But with what has happened, what do you want me to do? She doesn't want Oasis back. She is the mother of my child. So let me marry her and save everybody from this trouble. That's all I'm asking. If you have no fear for anybody, I beg you, fear God. Fear him. Because the Bible says, thou shall not covet your brother's property. And that includes his wife. There is repercussion for this kind of thing. If you have never done anything good in your life, I beg you, just this once. Do this for me. Leave that woman alone. You have caused enough matter for this family as it is. Please! Eh? Leave her for who then? For her husband! You're not listening. She doesn't want him. She is your brother's wife. Oasis lost the woman from the day oh. he killed her or tried to kill her. Then you can't have her. You cannot. I want to marry her. You will not. She is the mother of my child. You will not oh. marry her. You will not. Oh, is this she is your brother's wife. Oh, goodness me. from England. You've been wonderful, excited, and then, and then all of a sudden, you just changed. Please. Angel and Sandra, they, they're not here. They relocated, and, and you're the only one I have left. You're my only friend. I just want to know you're fine. I'm fine. i just uh, trying to settle in and trying to get a job at the same time. It's a little bit worse. Don't worry. You'll be fine, okay? You'll find something soon. I just feel guilty because if I wasn't so wrapped up in my own problems with you here trying to help me, you would have had enough time to look for a job. No, it's never mind. It's not your fault entirely. I mean, I haven't really looked hard enough, you know? So, don't blame yourself. But I know something will come up soon, though. I believe so. I just wish my only problem was career. I mean, did you know that Phil is really serious about the marriage thing. Really? 
Is it just feel? What about you? Okay, okay. I must admit this. I, I've given it some more thought, and I just, I just feel that that's the only way out of this for Phil and I to be together. Because, look, as as crazy as it sounds, that's the only way under the circumstances, really. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you. Is it your head talking or your heart? No, okay, wait, okay. <laughs> Both, okay? I just need you to tell me it's okay. Then. Of course, it's okay, come on. Listen, you don't need me to validate your decisions, okay? Just do whatever thing your heart tells you to do. I am solidly behind you, okay? Follow your heart. Even if it means wanting to elope with the love of your life, who am I to stop you? I don't even mind running and tagging along a lot. <laughs> oh. I don't know what I've done to deserve you. I, I, thank you. make love to me so passionately and not want more. Mm. Mm. Must we always talk after sex? I want to sleep. Huh? Always is. We never talk. It's either you want to sleep or you want to watch TV, football, or you want to drive off, you want to go see Evie, you want to go to the... It's so frustrating. I'm coming.
oil. Why are you avoiding me? Did you not enjoy what we shared yesterday? That could be V. I'm here. Am I not enough for you? Evie is my wife. Who doesn't want you? Well, she does. And I'm gonna get her back. I think you should forget about Evie. I think about us. Give us a chance. I mean, we're good hey, together. Hey, hey, listen, Elizabeth. There is no us. Then what are we doing here? Well, maybe you should tell me. Oasis. Isn't he your brother? I should be asking uh, you. Considering that uh, you are his concubine, I should ask you. Uh, what, what do you mean? Don't play games with me. You're as much a sinner as I am. Liz, we're both sleeping with married people. But the difference is I'm doing mine with every sense of responsibility and sincerity and love. So the question is, why are you doing yours? What is wrong with you? Huh? What, 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 what has gotten into your head? How dare you stand here to judge me? If you hadn't started all those crazy things, we would all have not been caught up in this way. I'm not judging you. In fact, I'm encouraging you. That way I can have the life that I want to live. I, I think, Liz, that you're the kind of woman that Oasis needs. Calm, but pushful. Hmm? Not Evie. Oh. Evie is much, much too good for Oasis. You're even more crazier than I thought. Really? Yeah, of course. Cross me to have fun. I'm so sorry. I kept you this long. I'm sorry. The traffic is bad. Hey. How are you? It's okay. I can't wait for you for a lifetime. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay. Besides, um, Liz, Lisbeth, mm -hmm. yeah, she's been um, fantastic company. We've been sharing some of life's juicy secrets. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Have you been up to? Nothing. What did you buy? Dresses. Father, of course. 
because you're the father. No one else is. I haven't been with any man for several years. You're the first person I'm doing it with. me on how to conduct my love life. Huh? Seeing that you are not any better yourself. Wife snatcher. Watch your back. It's not time to fight, oh. This is time for deliverance in this house. Huh? Jesus! What is this? How can you impregnate your wife's friend? How? Is this not the devil's work? Mama, why don't you look beyond who is pregnant and see who made her pregnant? <laughs> Mama, me! Me! <laughs> Mama, it's me. Do you know what that proves? Mama, that I'm a man. A complete man! Do you know what else it proves? That I am the father of my wife's child. <laughs> Mama, I am vindicated. <laughs> Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Oh, I am vindicated, Mama. Ah! Father, thank you. Ah, thank you. Lizzie, this is unbelievable. So tell me, what are you here to do now? I don't know. What were you even thinking about when all this happened? Just tell me, what, what were you thinking about? Have you told Evie? Do you think I, I, I can tell her now? God forbid. I can't tell her that now. So tell me, what are you going to do now? If I knew, would I be standing here and talking to you about it? Have you told Oasis? Well, yeah, I have. So what did he say? What could he possibly say? The guy is jumping, shouting, screaming. He's happy about it. He's elated. He's aesthetic. I told you. Didn't I tell you that these people are mad people? I told you madness runs in their family. Now they have come to include in their madness. Lizzie, if you know what is good for you, you had better look for a way of terminating this pregnancy and run for your life. I 
mean? You don't need all this now in your life. Can't you see you've got a future? Look, don't you think I've thought about all of this? But Oasis will not hear of it. This is the only way he can prove that he's not impotent. Oh! So you are now a guinea pig that they are using to test for manhood. I beg you in the name of God, you had better get rid of that pregnancy and run for your dear life. Can't you see this guy got no plans for you? Okay, tell me. Aren't you the one that told me how he keeps coming to the house every day trying to convince Evie to come back to him? When did you both have the time to make a baby? I don't know, honestly, I really, I really don't know. One thing led to the other and the fact of the matter is that I think I'm in love with him. Oh, you are not in love. Lizzie, you are in serious trouble. But I am, I, I, I think I am. How can you say you're in love with a French husband? But listen, Sandra. The fact of the matter is that I'm in love with him. Oh, please stop that nonsense and bed. And what? Listen, Evia has categorically stated that she's no longer interested in Oasis. Oh. So, did I. Did I have anything to do with that decision? She did not have anything to do with that, right? Instead of you to convince her to go back to her husband, you're busy sleeping with him. Well, now you, Sabi, all I know is that I am keeping this pregnancy and there's nothing you or anyone can do about it. Shikina. Tell her. Tell, her, tell, her. Tell, tell me what. You want me to tell her? I can tell uh, her. Uh, I... Yeah, 
Liz. Liz says she's pregnant for me. Yes. What? Yes. It's a miracle! It's a miracle! It only goes to prove one thing. What can this possibly prove? That I this? am Daniel's father. He's our baby, darling! Lies. All lies. Vivian, don't listen to him. Daniel belongs to us. Just as we belong to each other. Okay? Voices. Daniel is mine. If you... Yeah, we need to talk this over, there okay? There's nothing to talk about, Oasis. You know what? You're well, you can have her. No, no, Evie, it's not like that. Okay? Listen, I, I was confused. Yeah. I was drunk. Yeah. It, it just happened. Oh, I'm sure it did. Well, I guess congratulations are in order. For your information, darling, I am going to get a lawyer and I'll give you a divorce as soon as I can. Yes. No, no, Evie, Evie, no, no, don't, don't, don't take that drastic decision. Listen, baby, we, we, we can sit down and we can talk. About this, right? Listen, you, you mean the world to me. You and the baby, our baby. I mean the world to you. <laughs> Always says you really need to get your head examined. After telling me that you impregnated my friend in the same breath, you tell me I mean the world to you. And for your information, Oasis, it is not our baby. It is my baby. Mine. And Phil's. No! That baby is mine. Oh, don't even go there, Oasis, because you know that that child belongs to Phil. And I will divorce you and marry him. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Oh, yes, you did. Because there's nothing you or anyone else can do about it. I've run out of time I'm so confused that I'm losing my mind How can Why? Why, why would the wasters want to embarrass me like this? What are we going to do? Let's disappear. I feel we can't do that now. You know, if we don't handle this carefully, we can't contain the damage that we've been caused. And it's not about us, Phil. It's about Danny. His interest comes first. <sighs> It's my song we're talking about here too, okay? Nothing will give me more pleasure than to relocate Danny and the love of my life to a place where we do not have to live by societal dictates, where there are no stifling traditions, where my mad brother is not there. I'm going to make arrangements for us to relocate as soon as possible. Trust me and everything is going to be all right. Okay, okay, mom. Okay. I won't go to court. <sighs> but you have to tell them they need to do a DNA test. If the child turns out to be Phil's, I rest my case. But if that child is mine, I swear to you, mama, there is no way Phil is going to take over that child. So for peace to reign, they must submit themselves to a DNA test. How many times do I have to tell you we do not have a relationship? You can call it a fling, an affair, whatever it is. Okay? It's dead. It's over. Finished! You can say whatever thing you want to say. The point is, I am still carrying your child. For as long as I can prove that Daniel is mine. After that, all I want is just to have a child. And that's it. Period. What was that you just said? All I'm saying is that you should be reasonable. Listen, I am pregnant for you, and there is nothing you can do about it. And 
you are going to be a responsible father to him or her. I would terminate the pregnancy. Leave horses alone. Leave horses alone. So he thinks he can use me and drop me. Eh? Well, he's got another thing coming. I invited us all here to find a way to make peace. So many things have happened in so short a time. But there are no problems without solutions. Evie, the boss still lies largely in your court. Mama, Evie is not going anywhere. She's not going back to Oasis. And she has made that clear. So why don't you just leave her alone? Hasn't she gone through enough? For goodness sake, uh, o o Oasis here tr tried to kill her. Who pushed into it? You. Who started this whole madness? My so-called irresponsible elder brother. Feel, haven't you done enough harm? Can't you just leave my family and I alone? Just go! Oasis. Oh, I did not put a gun in your hands. Neither did I get my wife's best friend pregnant. So you take care of your responsibilities and I'll take care of mine. Evie and my baby are my responsibility. Then what happens to me? What, what? You, you just shut up. This is a family matter. Oh, so what do you call this? Stranger matter? Who, who brought this shameless person into this house? I invited her. Why, why mama, why? For peace. Because. Ha! Huh. I know what your problem is. Money. Huh? I will give you. But if you choose to go ahead and have the baby, mama here will take care of that child for you. Evie, it's not going anywhere. Oasis, your wife has since left you. <laughs> the earlier you get that into your brains, the better for you. <laughs> Go. We will go. 
We're in this together, okay? happened. But if I were you, I think you just need to give God all the glory and praises right now. But you don't need all this right now. By giving me a miscarriage. By giving me a miscarriage. You don't have this baby. I need this baby. Listen, so, Lizzie, this is not the time for questions, okay? But God will give you the right baby at the right time with the right person. Just leave someone's husband alone. Let them go with your ugly incident. Let them just go with your madness. You don't need all these tears. Oh, come on. It's okay. Yeah. I'm leaving town. Where to? I'm going to Nairobi. At least I have some money to sustain me until I'm able to sort myself out. Um, that's not gonna be a bad idea anyway. Because I've got plans to go to Zambia also. Really? Yeah. I just really think we need a break from all this whole incident that has happened. Any person will just come die one day. It's okay, right? Everything's gonna be fine. If you don't mind, can I speak to Mr. and Mrs. Oasis Osundu in private? Actually, I mind. This is a very serious family matter here. I'm sure none of us will object to hearing the news or the result. Okay. Yes. If you say so. The results of the DNA test conducted proves that the biological father of Daniel Osundu is Oasis Osundu. What? Yeah, Oasis. Congratulations. I've run out of answers. I've run out of time. I'm so confused that I'm losing my mind. How can I breathe? Take over my wife I'm begging you, baby Come back 
like right now Hello Vivier Just take Daniel and go to the hotel Just go to the hotel Vivier, please somewhere? <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey. <sighs> Oasis, what do you want? Yeah, just like I thought. Mm -hmm. You'll be with your bags, your tails tucked between your legs, ready to run. <laughs> As always, like a coward that you are, Phil. I ask you again, what do you want? What do I want? Good question. Oh, 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 good, good, good one. What do I want? I want to see the face of a liar. A face of the man who's lost the battle. A face of the man who betrayed his brother. Yeah. You schemed to get my wife <laughs> under the pretext of trying to help his younger brother. In fact, now that I'm thinking of it, Phil, I think you skimmed this whole elaborate plan from the beginning. Didn't you? But you know what? The Lord is good. All the time. Yes! Because he knew the intents of your heart. And then, <laughs> he played the joker on you. <laughs> By giving me the victory. Yes, the victory, because I am Daniel's father. Isn't the Lord good? All the time. Oh, all the time! <laughs> all the time, Phil! Now I'm surprised because that's all you can say. You can't say anything? Cut, cut your tongue? I have nothing else to say to you. Of course, Phil. You can't have anything else to say. Because you betrayed me. <laughs> Phil. You made nonsense of our family values. <laughs> you even had the temerity to go ahead and propose to my wife. She was mine. If he was mine. Philip. <laughs> you've always oppressed me. Right from childhood, you've always Make sure I was down. You've always been on top of me. In everything. But this one thing. One thing that I cherish so much. That you could never have. You still found your way through. I will never forgive you. I swear to God. Voices. For what is worth, I'm sorry. Okay? I never ever planned this from the beginning. I'm sorry that it ended like this. Yes, I proposed to Evie because I thought it will save everybody the embarrassment so I can just take her and the baby and go somewhere else. Now that's my crime and my sin. And I'm sorry. And I hope you can find a place in your heart to forgive me. Now I must go. Now that's it. You're sorry. That's what you say. Huh? You're sorry. Now you're just going to leave, huh? You want to just go? Okay. Behold the face of the liar. The face of the man who deceived his brother, slept with his brother, and thought he had the boy. But no, feel you failed once again. Now you want to go. You want to go just as always. Get into the car and get out. That's it, isn't it, Phil? You want to leave? Go. Why don't you go? Oh, okay. Get in, get in. Get in, Phil. Why don't you just go? Get out. Leave, Phil. Go. It's your world. What do you it? want from me? What do I want from you? What do you want from me? Nothing, Phil! Just admit the fact that you are not human! I said I'm sorry, okay? I did not plan it. I heard you. 
if I could take it all back, yeah. oh, it's just, I will take it that all back. That can bring my family back, Phil. My family isn't coming back. If ye, you destroyed my family, you destroyed my life, and then you're sorry, you get into the creeping car, and you leave. Now he's opening the door, ladies and gentlemen. He's getting into the car. He's gonna start it. That's the face of the liar. Let go. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now running away as usual. Go. <laughs> yeah. Why? 
Story the way it happened. <sighs> Mama, where is my daddy now? Oh, oh, it says. Hmm. He has been off and on psychiatric hospital in Lagos. But I believe that very soon, my God will heal him completely. I'm sure my children deviated. That's where they went wrong. That is why we have been facing all this all these years. He will be out. Can I see him when he comes back? Of course you can see him. He's still your father. He has always been your father from day one. you to know that no matter what had happened, the fact still remains that you are a special boy. Put your trust in God. He has always protected you and he will continue to be there for you. Look at me. Nobody believed that I would still be alive today. But I survived because God has always been with me. God is our anchor. God is our shield and buckler. He is our anchor in the stormy waters of life. Believe in God. He will never forsake you. He will continue to protect us and be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. What about my uncle? Your uncle Osita. He left us many years ago. Nobody knew where he went to. But by the grace of God, we have received information that is in Australia. You see? That is why I said it is important to believe in God. Travel. Tra travel to where? She talks, say she they go airport, say she they go London. London. Oh my God. What? Hey, are, are, are you serious? So that.
By the time you read this note, I will be far away in the UK. I didn't marry your brother to come and suffer here with him. I'm gone with the cash of $100,000 I gave him, which I now found in Rome. Make do with the rest cash you can find there. Selena. Oh, Christ, you bitch! You bitch, it's not your money! Oh. oh, no, you can get away with this, bitch. You can get away with this. You can bloody get away with this. Yeah, hello? You yellow ass bitch, where the hell are you? Hey! You dare not call me that again. You barbarian. Of course I'm on my way to the airport and back to the States. You dare not. You betrayer. You betrayed your brother by taking him to that monster in that junk to let him die slowly. I'm ashamed the education is a waste. You're a barbarian. You are a thief. You just stole our money. And listen, bring back that money right now or you will regret it. What money? I gave you everything you have and I'm regretting everything I did for you guys already. Your brother never told you, right? Nah, that's a lie. That's a bloody lie. You are a bloody liar. Now listen to me. You sit down there. Sit down at that airport and wait for me because I'm coming to get you. You can't run away with my money. You hear me? Nobody, nobody messes with me. <laughs> well, catch me if you can. 